Hey guys, welcome to the show. My name is Warren Workman. I'm your host today, and we're going to be talking with some Utah Film Festival alumni today. It's all happening on... All right, guys. Now, the Utah Film Festival has been around for 10 years. We just finished our 10th anniversary. And during that time, I've had an opportunity to meet with a ton of awesome people. And what I'm going to be doing over the next several months is I'm just going to be rounding back on a lot of these filmmakers and seeing what the heck they're up to. Let me introduce you to my very first guest. This is Devin. Hey, Devin. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> hey, guys. How are you? So Devin here is actually... Uh, he won for a couple categories, but I remember it was a budget category for Stalker. I think that was your win with us about, what, two years ago? Yes. Wow. Uh, that was, I can't believe that was two years ago. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so we had won, uh, it was, I believe it was budget under five, uh, under $5,000. Yeah. Uh, and then we won, um, it was Best Supporting Actress uh, with Hill on Minute. That, That's so. awesome. That's awesome, man. So what yeah. I want to chat about is because, uh, you know, Utah Film Festival, we, we obviously have a lot of filmmakers here in Utah. And so it's kind of fun to be able to just round back and say, OK, what does it take to be a filmmaker here in Utah? But let's first start off by talking about, you know, no, let's talk about that. What does it take to be a filmmaker okay. in Utah? <laughs> uh, you know, it, whether you're coming in with low to no budget, uh, trying to get your team assembled Walk me through the process. You've just written a script and you're now thinking about it's time to get this movie made. What is the process you're going through at that point? Oof. Um, so for me personally, uh, when I, uh, you see, I had never gone to film school before. I had never had any training or any hands-on experience uh, when I was first starting out. Um, although I was given a, a really great opportunity to, um, uh, to work on Saturday's Warrior, uh, and just, it just happened to be through a friend of mine um, that was one of us, one of the sponsors for that. And uh, so, um, and he was a regular at my my job that I worked at, and came in all the time. And we sat down, uh, had some lunch, and just was talking about you know Comic Con and actors and movies and everything. And then he was like, "Oh, by the way, my company uh, we're sponsoring this uh, film production called Saturday's Warrior." Uh, you know, I'm like, oh, well, let's see, you know, it's, is that like a remake or something? And he's like, yeah, yeah, you know, like they're, they're doing a remake of it. And and so uh, he kind of um, introduced me to that because I I thought that there was a certain process or something that you had to do specifically to actually get into film. Um, and so when I kind of went through that process, I, because uh, I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I had no idea what was, what, what to expect or what was going to, what was going to happen or, um, but, you know, I was very grateful because, uh, uh, that opportunity for me, um, personally, I was able to get my foot in the door and I was able to ask questions and to kind of just, um, you know, learn, uh, learn the process of it step-by-step step as I, as I continued on working on other productions, you know, with, uh, let's see, um, with, uh, quite a bit of, of uh, really great uh, filmmakers out there. Um, uh, I believe uh, the Nelms brothers, um, a couple of, of Hallmark uh, filmmakers, um, and it was just fun to just watch them, uh, you know, direct and watch them, you know, lead the team and watch them to, you know, how they worked with their actors. And it was, it was just, um, uh, something that I just kind of just became obsessive about because I, you know, you know there's always something to making, uh, making a film that's really fun. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's the director that does everything, but, but technically he doesn't do everything um, because there's so many other people that help. Um, so uh, to answer your question, um, <laughs> I, so my process is um, I love to write and direct. Um, and I think I thought of, about this because when you write a story, there's something about it that when you put it down on paper, you can see your film come to life um, slowly. <laughs> and, <clears throat> and usually 
there's many changes in the script, um, things that happen, things that come up, things that need to be changed um, over and over again. Um, but as but if you're a new filmmaker um, coming into this industry, uh, I would recommend um, talking, um, and talking to people about uh, how to get your script out there. Um, you know, I for me, uh, when I did my first feature film, uh, there was no. Um, we we did a found footage movie about uh, about uh, Bigfoot that lives up in you know Milker Canyon, and <laughs> and uh, I just kind of just kind of kind of just thought of this little story of you know uh, three people or three college students out in California. Um, you know they uh, <clears throat> their their task and their assignment was to specifically interview witnesses of Bigfoot and actually go out and see what they could find or what they could capture and so uh but i i didn't really know how to write a script i just kind of just figured it was in segments or you know or just main main little points uh for that and then once i started uh reading more about screenwriting and you know and learning more of the process i, I kind of learned more of actually how to do it of scenes and takes and everything and and uh but uh, let's say that, that you just wrote a script. Um, what do you do? Um, well, uh, I thought uh, as a beginner, as a you know, as a young filmmaker on my feet, that I thought it was the whole thing was to just, you know, if as long as I knew someone who had a camera, I I would be fine. I, I thought that was the whole thing, the whole process of it. I didn't know there was other people to find, you know, producers and right. you know, you know, I didn't know that there was a more I thought you just all you needed was just a couple of people to help it help you out and then a the camera. Uh, that's 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 all I thought what you had to do. So um, let's talk about that just for a minute before you go off too much. Uh, I want to go ahead and give a couple shout outs if this is okay. We have some people that have yeah, already jumped on absolutely. this message and they want yeah, to say hello real quick if that's okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah all right. Sure. So we had Cameron over here. He's saying, "Hey, hi, Warren and Devin. Um, we hey, have." Cameron. Uh, you, I, I don't know how to say this young man's name, unfortunately. Sorry, I was going to mispronounce it, so I won't be able to do it. Hmm. Then we have William over here who's saying hello. And uh, we had Laura Lee okay. pop in earlier, and then LaVon is yeah, here as well. Okay. Welcome, welcome. We already have some questions coming up, but it's a little premature for the oh, questions. Well. So, Anthony, <laughs> I'm going to hold off on your question for right this minute, but I will come to it. I promise. I promise. You hit something on the head just barely before I interrupted you, on how many people are in invo are involved. I think you are just like me. I, I'm, I'm very independent. I know I can do all sorts of different jobs. And I, it's yeah. to my detriment when you mm -hmm. can put a team together, a solid team together, and divide out those duties, you're able to get a better product overall. And I think that's Absolutely. something you have learned a lot over this last yes. few years. Let's talk about mm -hmm. your current team that you're working on and the film. First off, tell us a little bit about the movie, and then let's talk about your team. Of course, yeah. Uh, so my current uh, film that I'm doing right now um, is called Never Seen Again. And uh, I kind of wanted to um, put this film, you know, because I, uh, I've i always been fascinated with, um, you know, with true stories, um, you know, with FBI's. Um, you know, going in to rescue someone or, or tracking down a ser serial killer or, you know, and uh, something about crime and thriller, I think, you know, really seems to grab people's attention more um, versus a horror film or a comedy or a drama. Um, in order for, for you to get into it, um, it has to be really, really well made, really, really well scripted, uh, well written. Um, and uh, just for that, um, you know, and for me as a, as a filmmaker, I, I, I just think that's the whole process of, of, you know, you find a genre that people like, that people want to grab onto, and then you just hold onto it. Um, you know, after doing a, a horror and a Western last year, and, you know, I, I kind of thought that, you know, thrillers um, is kind of my go-to place, but maybe, maybe in the future, you know, I'll, you know, I'll end up doing a comedy or, or anything um but my team though um i have a fantastic team uh we have a, a great cast <clears throat> uh we have a uh, great producers on um 
uh, you know, and as far as people helping uh, people who have helped me uh, for a couple of years now. And, uh, you know, and when you find the right people, uh, you know, that want to work with you, that want to have fun, you know, making a film or, you know, whether if it's, if, if, whether if it's paid or not paid. And, you know, that's, uh, that's kind of my advice uh, right there is, you know, is to just, you know, to just, uh, you know, find the right people uh, that want to help and, you know, and that want to support you, uh, you know, with your projects and, you know, in your, especially, you know, your dreams. And, uh, um, but as far as cast, uh, we got, uh, we got Michelle Willis, uh, we got uh, Cam and Savage, we got uh, a lot of great people um, that are, that I've, uh, have, uh, have, you know, have come to very fond uh, of working with. And uh, it's it's going to be, uh, we have, you know, we got Neil Middleton of the lead singer of Royal Bliss. Uh, that's going to be in my film. <laughs> uh, awesome. Very excited about that too. Um, you know, you, you just never know. So. Well, I think that's fantastic because here in Utah, you know, I, I did a little bit of research myself. Okay. Uh, I had an opportunity to come up. I was possibly going to go up to North Dakota and I was going to oh, start wow. working up there. Things didn't work the way I expected them to do. But one of the things I researched was what kind of film community can I expect if I went up there? You know what I found? Nothing. Nothing. Big fat oh, wow. goose egg. There's no film community <laughs> up there at all. And that's not uncommon. I was, looking, I was looking at places all over the United States, and there's maybe a dozen, a dozen in the entire U.S. that has a vibrant film community. Everyone else is, everyone's half the lone gun this thing or the lone wolf this thing, I guess. Uh, yeah. So, so Utah is kind of an abnormality because we're able to find a lot of resources of people here that are eager to jump into in the independent film. And as you yeah. said, sometimes for low to no pay, just for the experience of making a movie. I think that's, yeah. I think that says a yeah. lot. And, hey, we have a yeah, few more yeah. people real quick. Uh, okay. We have yeah, a few sure. more people wanting to say hello. We have Callie over here saying hello. She's saying, hi, Devin. She likes Kaylee. you there. Um, and then we also have, I'm, I'm going to actually bring this up to some some questions if you're okay with it. We'll pop back into yeah. more of our stuff. Uh, of so we have Anthony here. He says he's working on a script as well. Anthony, And awesome, so he's man. curious about casting. What do you do for casting? How uh, do you figure out your cast? What's the process you go through for casting right now? It's a very good question. Because <laughs> um, there's so we have so many talented people um, in our um, in our community, in our little tiny community. There's so many good, great actors, actresses, uh, to singers, to composers, to you know, you name it. You know, the photographers. Uh, um, but as far as casting, though, I when I write a script, I uh, can kind of visualize of uh, get an idea of the characters, and then I put a character with the face. And if I can't stop thinking about this face, or you know, and I know that I've I've worked with them before, then I know that they're going to be you know that they're going to be fantastic. You know, I don't. Um, I think it's great to audition, but if if you've already worked with that person, then there's no then for me, for me personally, there's no way. You know, there's no second audition. Okay. You know. You know they've already landed the job before, um, but uh, I I enjoy working with uh, with old people and, and also uh, with new people as well. Um, uh, I love uh, uh, meeting new people. That's why I that's why I work in the work in the restaurant industry and and music industry and and film and everything because I just love talking to people. I love meeting, meeting new people and and uh, it's amazing the how many. Uh, of those I still haven't met yet that I hope to meet one day uh, and, and hopefully to work with as well. Um, but casting though uh, was kind of, um, uh, for me, it's kind of a uh, hit or miss. Um, you know, there's there's great people that are awesome to work with. There's other people that are, you know, you know things don't go as, as well, <laughs> I'll, I'll put it that way, uh, or like you thought that would work out, you know, you know but didn't. I think, I think I know of a few that you're mentioning, right? Now. And, <laughs> and, uh, and they, yes. And they will surprise you in the very end. Uh, I've found out for myself personally. Uh, but, um, but just the majority of, we have so much talent here, so much, uh, uh, experience, um, you know, with people and, and we are a very fortunate, uh, community, uh, uh, 
compared to anywhere else. Like you look at New York City, there's it's all competition. You look at LA, it's all competition. But here though, it's like we all come together. It's like we all want to just help each other out. We all lean on each other. Um, we all support each other. You know, we don't, you know, things happen, but you know, and you know, and to some of those, you know, it is, it is what it is. But, but I love our community a lot because we just, uh, we just have this bond, you know, and this closeness because we, we just, you know, support each other. You know, it's, um, uh, it's just the friendly competition that we that we enjoy with one another. I guess you could say that. You know, compared it, to new filmmakers and yeah, and it's, a, it's a healthy yeah. Yeah. it's a healthy competition. So one of the yeah. things that we mentioned here is, you know, it, we're almost like a, you know, we're more than a community. We almost are like family after a while. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We work with people over and over and over again. Um, and we see that happening here in multiple groups here on Facebook where the people get together in real life. Uh, if you're doing a, a, a like a 48 hour film challenge, uh, if you're participating in festivals or anything like that, it's a time for everybody to come back together. And so filmmaking, I think, is a great resource to do that. I have more questions here for you, though. Okay, um, sounds good. Our young man, I'm not sh quite sure what this question really is here. How you artist management? I'm, I'm guessing is hmm. I'm, I'm going to take a stab in the dark as to what that is like. How do you choose somebody like for casting? I'm management. assuming it's like a, a like a talent okay. representative okay. or casting or something like that. Yeah. Do you ever go through yeah. like okay. casting uh, like agencies? Uh, do you have like a casting director? Do you go through um, yeah like different you know? How do you find them? How do you find your cast? Like do you do a open casting call? What's the process you go through? Um, so um, I usually just go through people that I know um, or people that I. Sometimes, you know, um, I'm a fan of <laughs> that I hope to work with one day. Uh, like, for example, um, we were trying to cast uh, Brittany Bateman uh, for this feature. Uh, and uh, I was kind of new to the whole casting procedure agency thing because I know that agencies represent, you know, their clients and their, you know, and people that are really, really good and uh, really very well known uh, in Utah. And, um, you know, sometimes they get turned down and, um, it, it happens, but, you know, you just have to just kind of just, uh, you know, just move on. And that's why there's, you know, that's why I think we have so much great variety here um, in, in Utah. Uh, there's so many great people to work with um, uh, and great friends. Um, speaking of friends, um, uh, you know, you um, if you want, you know, I, uh, that's what I did kind of at first when I was uh, um, directing my, my first feature film as, you know, I just kind of just cast it. Um, like a couple of my coworkers and, <laughs> uh, you know, just whoever I could find that I, you know, I knew someone who had a camera and uh, we were able to have some fun and uh, with that and everything. And then uh, when I'm, well, and then when the whole process that we did with Stalker, I, um, I knew that I had to find some kind of bad guy and I, uh, um, and I know that we have a lot of, a lot of great actors here in Utah who, um, who play, bad guys very, very well, um, especially Jason Wexham. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, it was very, very grateful to have him um, in our feature. But uh, yeah, like, you know, it just depends on the people that you know. And if, and if they do have a have an agency, then, you know, I, um, you know, I would, I would take the liberty to, um, to respect that, um, you know, as to not only uh, contact, contact them directly, um, uh, which is a good sign, but also, um, you know, if, if they, uh, if they're, especially if they're part of SAG, um, you know, I know that's kind of really difficult to get um, people casted to as well, but it just depends on the agency. And, um, but, you know, but if you're close with people and, you know, you have friends, I think that's just the better way to go, um, you know, and just to kind of follow, and it's fun to follow the work after they've worked with you and, you know, to see them do other things and you go, like, I'm so glad that, you know, that I had that, you know, had you, could be like their, you could be their cheerleader when they get another project. Yeah, and they exactly. Have another premiere. You can you can just be like in the state, in the audience, just cheering them on. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Hey, quick shout out, Lucas yeah. Hardy. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Lucas. <laughs> Anthony's loving this. You think we can collab? I'd love your kind of experience. He actually follows us up. Uh, oh, by the way, we have uh, William popped on here. He was asking a question. 
Uh, yes, yes William, we are going to be uh, sharing this. This is going to be available later. And I think we'll put it out on a couple of different platforms as well. So hopefully you're enjoying this. We're still going for a bit, though. We're not done yet. We're not anywhere close to being done. Um, okay. Uh, this is a great question. Moving from yeah. casting to scripting. Okay. How do you add dialogue to a script? I'm so new to this. And then the, he has a follow-up question. Uh, do you do things in segments? Now, I, I'm going to go ahead and tackle this one if, for a moment. Then I'm going to yeah. pass it over to you. Yeah, is that okay? Okay. Yeah, uh, first, first thing. Oh, hello. We got, we got Kelly there. I'm going to go ahead and take that one off. Um, so, Anthony, to answer your question about scripting, there's a couple different ways you can take a look and see just what a format of a script is. Start off by going to simplyscripts.com. They're free. You could download these scripts whenever you want. They have different genres, but they're all formatted the same way. It starts off with a scene heading and then a scene description, and then it has the character's name. Uh, maybe there's an action before it or after. But as soon as you have the character's name, right below it's going to have the dialogue. And the way that it's formatted in the script is pretty much universal for anybody who is doing a, a film screenplay. So go to simplyscripts.com. You can download all those for free, and it gives you an idea of what that looks like. Now, when you're writing it yourself, uh, you can go through Final Draft. You can go ahead and edit it there, but that's a bit of an expensive program. If you just want to try it for a month, go on to studiobinder.com. You can go there and actually write out your script, write it all out so well that you can actually produce it into a movie and see all the other tools they have with it. There's also a program called Celtics. And ultimately, there's lots of programs online that you can see how to script it all out. But if you don't start off with simplyscripts.com, you just want to understand the basic formatting of a script, which will really help you leaps and bounds. Now, how about you, Devin? Do you have any input on what you can do to help Anthony out? as far as what your process is when you go making a script? Yeah. Writing your screenplay by <laughs> Cynthia Whitcomb. Nice. <laughs> and uh, I actually found this book at a, I'm a DI of all places. So yeah, just, you know, yeah, check out. Yeah. Like, you know, always go online or, you know, and uh, because I, uh, for me, for me personally, I never knew the process of writing a script. I didn't know how to do it. And uh, I just kind of just thought I thought I was doing it right and kind of just winged it. And then I looked at a, a professional script. I'm like, oh, okay, that's there's a lot more to that uh, that I did not know before. So, yeah, um, you know, and you can just, you know, there's plenty of people that you can ask, you know, that will help out. And, um, you know, and I can give you I can even, even give you some information from this book, too. Uh, that's, that's helped me a lot as well. That's excellent. Yeah. And I think you could find a lot of these script, these books on screenwriting even at your local library. So they do have those available. I know the Orem Library does, uh, the one up in Salt Lake does. And if you go over to the, uh, uh, the Utah Film Center, they actually have a lot of books on screenwriting and producing and pretty much anything you think of. And you can go ahead and take a look yeah. at those for free while you're there. So that's, yeah, absolutely. that's a pretty cool resource. Now let's yeah, talk so about that... when we get into the actual production of it all, shall we? Sure. Uh, now, you mentioned before you were doing this all as a one-man band. You're like, I'm going to take on every single hat, and I'm going to make that movie. And now you, you've you learned the value of having a team. What, Absolutely. Why do, you, why do you think it's beneficial to have a team to make a movie? Uh, it's To me, it's very, very beneficial. Um, so a couple – so when we were shooting soccer, um, me and Cindy Manuel, we went to this, uh, uh, I, I think it was like a kind of a meet and greet thing with the filmmakers and photographers and stuff. And, and when we, we were there, uh, the majority of the people that we talked to uh, were all one man shows. Like, you know, they were the writer, the producer, the composer, everything. I'm like, how, like, like you can't, it's like taking a camera and making a movie like in a bathroom or in a closet. Like you cannot, like you can't obviously, you know, some people can pull it up, you know, but when it comes to a production that, or any production, you know, I think people should uh, understand, you know, it takes more than just one person to do everything. And, um, and it's good to have those extra hands, you know, and even people that, that want to help that have never worked in film before, you know, it's, it's always great to have. And, um, it's all about, you know, the team. And, and for me, when I direct, um, 
in a in a production i try and direct the way that that i would want to be directed um you know and i i try and show that respect to my actors and to the people that are on my my team um to really uh listen to them uh, i come i think it comes down to listening and um agreeing on something and uh, uh jody foster <clears throat> kind of puts it this way of when you coach act your actors you know it's you know it's about you know about uh, being the good parent, you know, good parent will love your child, will, you know, no matter what kind of trouble they get into or, you know, or, or uh, you know, or how many mistakes they make, you know, but they'll always be there for them, you know, and so I've, I, I like that, that analogy of hers is really stuck to me and, uh, you know, but I always try and support my actors. I, I always tell them, tell them, you know, great job, and, you know, and it's encourage them because, they're not only working for, you know, for you, like, you know, they're, they're working, you know, really hard. So. Oh my goodness. What's I've, going I've on? lost what you. I lost you. What there you are. What there happened? you are. What happened? Oh, I'm right. <laughs> I lost you there for a second. That's crazy. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. That was kind of weird. All right. Well, I got, okay. More questions for you then. Awesome. Things are, weird things are happening here. The gremlins have gotten into <laughs> the system. This is what happens okay. when you do live video. It's crazy. It's wonderful, it's right. but it's, it's crazy. Right. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. So, so one of the things that I wanted to touch base on, is um, where do you find your network? Uh, because when, you, when you're starting it off, I mean, are you finding them at your job? Or are you working as in a restaurant? Where are you finding your, your fellow produ your, your producers for your crew, your actors, your, your grips, your gaffers, all those people? Where, where do you find them? Um, uh, you know, just to, whoa, what's going on? There we go. I'm on the there other side. Go. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's all right. That's all right. That's all good. I'm just kind of just surprised at what's going on right now. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. So I'm uh, not working. Um, so I, um, so coming from a musical background of, uh, of, uh, you know, of playing in, in bands and for, as a drummer for years and years and, uh, my uncle, <clears throat> uh, Dan Whitley, um, he always uh, had taught me uh, how to network, and um, I never really understood the concept of it until actually now, because <laughs> um, you know it's it really does come to come down to the people that you know, uh, the people uh, who they know, the people uh, who they know. So it's a um, and I uh, and I've used uh, Facebook a lot um, to kind of ask people questions. To, to kind of ask, um, you know, the people that I've I've worked with, um, you know, it's the people that you, that you work with that are on set that you can really pick their brains, um, you know, as far as of who they know. That would be a good producer, a good cinematographer, composer, uh, you know, you name it. Um, but for me though, it's uh, it's just the people that um, that I just kind of ask. Um, you know, oh, like, are you, uh, you know, oh, oh, you're an actress, you know, are you also a, a, a producer, you know, it's kind of a, who do you know, it's kind of game, um, you know, or, or who does what kind of game for me. Right. Now, what, oh, why does it keep doing that? That is so weird. That is so, so weird. So if I click on here, there we go. Okay. Now we're back to normal. That's weird. Okay. okay. So one of the things I want to pop out there, one of the things that I found, uh, people really use well in networking before COVID were these meet and greets. And Sue Rowe used to have yeah. one of these meet and greets where people could get together, meet all the different actors. And I think that was the main objective was to meet all the different actors. But you were Absolutely. able to meet some directors and some cinematographers and things. Now, we do have an event that happens every year, and that's this one. It's the Utah Film Festival submission deadline, November 1st. Um, and anybody can come to that for free. Uh, it doesn't cost anything to show up and do the networking. Um, even this last year, every single event was free. Every screening, even the award show was free to attend. And I found That's over awesome. the years, over the last 10 years, going to an organized event, an in-person event, is so valuable to actually connect one-on-one -on -one with somebody and get that FaceTime and say, hey, I, I, I want to get involved. You know, I want it. He's like... Yeah. One of my favorite lines I was ever told by anybody in this industry. There it goes again. That's so weird. I love it, but it's weird. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. That's so weird. All right. Uh, two, the, it's two of me. It's way crazy. Uh, you get two angles of one. <laughs> two angles of me. 
Um, but one of the craziest things I was ever told by somebody is, I will be your official cup holder just to be on set. You know, he'll just r walk around and carry my, my soda can all day long. And I thought that was the craziest thing in my mind. But, uh, oh, gosh. Yeah, but, you know, it is what it is. That's, that's what he wanted to do. So, um, of course, I ended up having him do more than that. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so uh, let's talk about this, this, this latest project you're working uh, okay. you're working on. Uh, what was the origins of the story and where is it going from now? Uh, so as far as the story, I, um, so the synopsis of it is uh, it's about two girls um, that get kidnapped uh, and abducted. And uh, there's kind of this, this chaos that goes on and uh, of them, you know, going missing for, uh, for weeks to months and no one, you know, has really seen them before or seen them around or anything. And uh, so the FBI gets involved and they kind of follow, follow this case and of, uh, you know, eventually finding them um, and then they're rescued. So it, it will have a good ending. I, I promise. <laughs> well, good. I need a good ending out of this thing. I don't want to have a downer <laughs> of, of a show. Yeah. <laughs> Now, yeah. you usually push these films go out pretty quickly. What's your timeline looking like for this film? Um, so for this, uh, so this is my third feature film that I'm uh, writing and uh, that I, I've written and directed. Um, Stalker took about six months to uh, uh, to film. I'm, uh, let's see, it's May. So I'm, I'm assuming, so we're, we're, hope, we're shooting for some time um, in the fall. I'm, I'm looking around maybe... September, October, um, around that time, because well, uh, because uh, yeah, uh, um, because uh, Stalker was about seventy-seven pages, and this one uh, is about one hundred and ten pages. Wow. So it's it's gonna be, yeah. So we'll see. You know, I I don't know how long it's gonna be, but you know, we'll we'll see when we get there. <laughs> well, I'm gonna remind you then one more time if you're going to be submitting it to the festival. Your deadline is November 1st, so it sounds like you'll be right in line there. So hopefully we'll be able to, be able to see that film at the yeah. premiere at the Utah Film Festival, maybe. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So, All right. That sounds cool. good. I, I always love seeing some uh, alumni come back and just show show off. I have a clip of the movie. Should we share it? Should we show people what it looks like right now? Let's see. Let's do it. Take a look. But I don't think you'll mind if our friend Ben Franklin doing this for a drink tonight <laughs> <laughs> okay tonight is on me anyways okay you need to get out there and enjoy the single life again <sighs> okay but just one beer not mm -hmm. anything crazy like last time i just don't want him to kick us out he won't leave it to me girl let's go <laughs> have a good time <laughs> So that that's one of our clips from it. I mean, it doesn't tell us a whole lot of the movie right there. That's kind of just intentional. It's <laughs> just a snippet. So it's looking yeah. good. I mean, if we compare it back to where you started, just that one scene, just that one scene. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yep. it's, it it's so a much better. huge, much better. Yes. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, so, we got, yeah, so we got some lighting. And... We, got, we got some good audio. We got all the good things, all the good production. Elements. Yes, yeah, yeah. Everything that I wish I had that I didn't have before is, <laughs> is, 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 is the way to put it. So, yeah, Wonder. so Michelle Willis, yeah, so um, working with her and also uh, with um, um, Milani uh, is, uh, it's been um, tremendous. Um, however, Milani uh, is not one of the main characters. She is uh, the friend of Michelle. Um, who is a little later abducted um, when they are at the bar with uh, our uh, bartender, uh, Neil Middleton, <clears throat> uh, who is playing our bartender. And uh, from there, uh, it goes from someone uh, that she knew, uh, who was uh, her ex-boyfriend, actually, um, has this obsession, uh, this very, very dark obsession uh, with um, this kind of a creeper, you know, just really obsessive and just, um, you know, has a really difficult, you know, background as far as childhood and growing up and, you know, it's was, it was been the troublemaker his whole life. And uh, um, this character kind of struggles through of uh, kind of a roller coaster of emotions and and uh, 
everything. So, but uh, yeah, um, but Michelle Willis is is uh, fantastic, and I highly re recommend um, anyone uh, uh, you know um, to work with her because she is fantastic. Excellent, excellent. Um, yeah. Go ahead. You're, you're, you had something else there. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, um, I was saying that. Uh, um, you know. So she, um, she and I met on Facebook, and um, and I was kind of just, uh, uh, um, you know, just really admire, admiring her, and you know, and uh, and the fact that she could, you know, she could sing. I'm like, oh, I'm like, well, would you also be, you know, do you also act? And she said, no. Uh, so um, this is her. So this is yeah. So this is her her third project with me, and I'm just kind of helping her, um, you know, to get on on her feet. And she's she works very hard. She does a very very good job, and um, you know, I'm very proud of her. Well, that's pretty uh, cause cool. That, yeah, because yeah, because she's come a long way, and uh, um, you know, and she works really hard, and and uh, you know, she you know she plays you know the characters very very well. So. So would we say she's the supporting actress or the lead actress in this one then? So, so uh, she is one one of the leads uh, with okay. her and um, Kaylee Brummer. So, so that's those good. Are my, those, are, those are my two. Because Kaylee was on here earlier saying hello. So, yeah. I just yeah. want to point out though, if anybody is planning on uh, submitting this film, it only takes one person to submit. Uh, let me show you where you would go. You just go over here to our Film Freeway page. Um, it, it's Film Freeway backslash uh, Utah Film Festival. Uh, you just scroll on down. The deadline, again, is November 1st to get everything submitted. But you have the different acting categories, but really it only takes one submission to get it entered, at least the film itself. And then each category could either be nominated by someone in the public or one of our judges or screeners. So that's kind of how it works over here, if you guys are interested in having something submitted to the Utah Film Festival this year. So it's kind of fun if you want to be a part of it. Uh, that that's mostly just for awards than anything else. Yeah, but I'm excited to see what it comes, what you end up with, Devin. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to see where this project lands on your professional timeline, and just I'm I'm mm -hmm. cheering for you, man. I'm one of those same guys. It's going to be cheering from the, cheering from the nosebleed seats. Uh, just <laughs> proud to see you keep on yeah. growing, buddy. I think that's amazing. Thanks, man. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Before we log off, do you? I want to just go ahead and pop off these last few comments we have here. Uh, Cameron, uh, it's over here. I'm so honored and blessed to work with Devin and the cast and crew of his newest movie. Um, Anthony's saying thank you. Um, <laughs> Williams over here. Jason Wixom is the man. <laughs> Devin, you're a passionate storyteller. I'm an actor who'd love to work with you sometime. Anyway, I could hear about the future audition opportunities of films of yours down the line. Uh, a lot of that, I believe. You either reach out to them directly or you post it on Facebook. Yeah. So Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Of so course. that's how it really works out. And just a reminder to Anthony, Simply Scripts. <laughs> Simply Scripts is where you want to go. That's where, where you want to be. <laughs> Simply All right. Scripts, yeah. <laughs> now, before we go yeah. ahead and say adieu, is there any last people you'd like to give a shout out to before we end for the night and I go and eat some more of that popcorn over there? <laughs> Uh, well, your popcorn sounds really important. <laughs> sounds really good. It's really um, important. No, like, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I'm just really grateful for uh, everyone in our our community. Um, you know, I I know last year was really hard for all of us. Um, you know, to seem that you know that there's seemed to be a lot of division and um, you know hatred. You know, but uh, you know, but none of that should matter uh, as well. And um, you know, and I. Me personally, you know, I've uh, have offended some people, and I just wanted to say, you know, I'm I'm sorry. I hope that we can still be friends. I hope that we can still have a chance to work together. And um, you know, seeing your, your successes, um, you know, is a strength uh, for me. Uh, uh, it's a positivity for me um, personally. And uh, so, um, you know, who you are. I just wanted to say, you know, I'm I'm sorry, and um, you know, and. Sorry that I couldn't be there at the festival either. I really won't want it to be, but my band was playing. Why you, Ayana? <laughs> my band was playing for a wedding in St. George, so uh, for that weekend. Um, it is okay. We had a pretty decent but, uh, turnout with a COVID-related stuff going on. We still yeah, had a lot of people so, there, so it's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, anyways, yeah. Thanks again, Warren. Um, I hope to you know keep you all updated um, too, and and you know and. Uh, I love working with new people, working with new talent, especially. And, and uh, yeah, if you, have, you guys have any questions, just you know, send me a message on Facebook or just 
you know, if you got my number, text me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, thanks. And uh, I guess uh, have a good night, guys. That's awesome. Devin, thank you so much. Now, I'm going to be meeting with some more of the Utah Film Festival alumni over the next several months. So if you want to meet with some of these different filmmakers that have been a part of the festival over the last decade, this is the time to do it. We're going to be talking about what it's like being a filmmaker in Utah and abroad. So we're going to have a lot of fun with that. Guys, this has been a lot of fun. Till next time, I'm Warren Workman. Remember, this is all happening at the Utah Film Festival.